Welcome to Be Still and Know. I'm Jonathan Edwards, and this is our opportunity to hear what God is saying to us today. Philippians chapter 1, verses 1 and 2. This letter is from Paul and Timothy, slaves of Christ Jesus. I'm writing to all of God's holy people in Philippi who belong to Christ Jesus, including the church leaders and deacons. The Apostle Paul was absolutely clear that it's not what you know, but who you know that really matters in life. And so he began this warm and encouraging letter by focusing on Jesus. It was Paul's relationship with the Lord that compelled him to write this letter, and he identified the fact that as a community, the Philippian church belonged to Jesus. Paul described his own relationship with Jesus as being that of a slave. Philippi was a busy Roman colony, and there would have been huge numbers of slaves, probably about 20% of the population. Everyone would have understood what Paul was saying. Slaves were owned by their master, who totally controlled their lives to the extent that they didn't even possess their own bodies. They had no ancestors, no name, and could have no possessions. On the face of it, that all sounds pretty grim, doesn't it? But Paul's discovery was that to be the slave of the best master of all, the Lord Jesus Christ, was the most joyful and liberated way of life. He was delighted to be entirely controlled by Christ and Christ's agenda. Paul visited Philippi on his second missionary journey, which we read about in Acts 16. And there, as we read, he met Lydia, who became the first Christian convert in Europe. Lydia opened her home to Paul, and that's where the first church in the city was established. In his letter, he described the Christian community in Philippi being God's holy people who belong to Christ Jesus. He was affirming the fact that they too were slaves of Christ. Every day we're all under pressure from many different directions, just like the Philippians. And the same is true for us as it was for them, that it's not what you know, but who you know that really counts. Knowing Jesus as our Saviour and the Lord is everything. So let me ask you a question. Do you consider yourself to be a slave of Christ? Now let me pray with you. Loving God, thank you for the freedom and joy that you give to those who commit themselves to you as Lord. Amen. I encourage you to join me every day for Be Still and Know here on Premier. Or you might like to join the thousands of people who listen to this on podcast, which is, of course, available at any time. Thanks for joining me and may God bless you today.